told us it was time for you lot to uh, step up and, and not be potential anymore and go and do it. That's it, I think. The public have probably heard enough of us being the, the best generation of sprinting as well with no results so it's nice we came here in front of our home crowd and we did exactly what we thought we could. We, a lot of people would have looked at Jamaica and the US and Canada and all those guys and think well these are the guys that usually get the medals and Great Britain usually mess up but we had so much self-belief. We didn't come here just to, just to get on the podium to be honest, we came here to win it and that's what we did. The time was a bonus, that wasn't a focus of ours. And, Everything just came into place tonight and we're so happy. You guys, after your legs, you were handing off and you looked like you started celebrating even then. You guys, did you know right then that you had something special going? Do you know what, for me, I came around the bend and I couldn't really feel anyone. So I thought, these two have put me in an unbelievable position. I've just got to go with it. And then I saw Nefa Neil ahead and I was thinking, yeah, we've won this. And everything just, just went into place how it should do. And we're just very grateful for the opportunity and for us to be in the best shape of our lives in a home world championship. And to go and become world champions. Uh, I didn't know what to do with myself. You, you premeditate a celebration, you think all these fancy stuff, but it actually happened, man. It's uncontrollable energy. I was exhausted after about 20 seconds of run up the whole track. I might have got 19-1 on that little sprint, but um, uh, it's an amazing feeling, man. As Danny said, it's a testament to the effort we put in. Honestly, truly believe that we would come out with a victory and anything less would have been unsatisfactory and I'm glad to get put the gold medal on in the home stadium which won't ever happen again probably so um, hats off to the boys the support staff everybody everyone involved it's not just us here a lot happens behind closed doors as you guys came to France and saw and um, testament to everyone it's, 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 it's a great feeling it's a great feeling when did you realize you've won uh, I didn't do you know what, it's, it's, until for I me, it's not just uh, this whole season, it's London 2012, especially for Danny and I, the relay didn't quite go great, the, uh, the, re well, the relay went hor horribly, the relay went really horribly and, and to come out here five years later, uh, redemption and, and to come out here and be world champions in front of a home crowd, it's something you dream of and that dream is a reality and I'm so grateful and lucky to, to be involved in this team and and we know we can hopefully go and run faster and, and it was a great field out there, it was, a, it was a very loaded race and we believed in ourselves, we believed in each other and it was, yeah, it happened, it happened. What's the difference between this year and years past? We've, we've never, we've always believed we can do it and and we got it right and we got it right and it happened and, and, and I believe we, could, we should have done this years ago as well but running with these guys is it's, it's a very special team and, and everyone here is, has been challenging, challenging the world's best and we came together and, and we did a job. I could see him. Oh, sorry. My, I could see him in my peripheral, and um, you know, I was kind of upset that I let the British record go in the heats. And uh, I, I said to the guys after the fact, I said, "I got you. I promise you, I got you." And um, they made my life that much easier. It's never easy in a final. As, as Adam said, when you sit back and think about the names in that race, you got Bolt, you got Gatlin, you got Johan. Those are some of the fastest guys ever to run the sport and for us four to come together truly believe in ourselves and get the gold um, it hadn't sunk in now but it's just great you got off to a great start man Tell us about it. yeah I just <laughs> <laughs> I just I just wanted to um, set these guys off um, I just wanted to set these guys off to a nice place and I mean they all, their flat speed was was good enough to get the gold and as I spoke to some of you guys at, in throughout the year I said freedom and and that was it. Everyone went around with freedom. Everyone was fun. It was fun, and it was nice. And what happened when you gave me the baton? Yeah, and I was just screaming down at his foot, and now I lost voice. my voice. So I was just screaming because as soon as he got it, screaming. CJ, for you, Beijing wasn't that great, and neither was neither was Rio. Wow. So <laughs> well, okay. to, no. To be honest, as as you said, um, yeah, they weren't the best. Um, but I feel like we've now capped it off in a good way. In London World Champs, home, hometown, so it's an amazing feeling. And I did say to one of these guys, imagine we come here and get the gold medal. And we did believe we could get the gold medal, and it happened. Do, do, do you feel even at the tournament, riding on the Bolt's parade? Listen, he, this, is, this year for Bolt was all about the fans. His legacy is, is, is what he's done in this sport. He's the greatest of all time, in my opinion, the greatest athlete ever to, to live. And he's... It's, it, injuries in this sport are, are, are horrible, but that doesn't doesn't spoil anything for him because he's he's done he's done everything and, and for us for pretty much all of us he's our hero in the sport. So, it's sort of, I it's, mean, not the injury, but it adds something that you. And it's and we're it's very we're very privileged to state. to come out here and run yeah. Mo's last race, Bolt's last race. It's yeah, it's just it is, it's, it's an honour just to be on a track with the guy. I mean, 
like Adam said, he's probably all of our heroes. We all grew up watching him and Beijing 2008, you'll never ever see anything like that again. I mean, the guy put his hands down with 30 metres to go and was still running away from people. Yeah, and yeah I mean, to, to be there on his last night is amazing. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to get a medal from it, but yeah, just to experience the buzz around the crowd, around the city, and to be honest, around the country, just everyone wanted to see him. And yeah, I mean, it's just the way things go, unfortunately. When did you guys realise he had gone down? And well, to be honest, I, I was right next to him because obviously I, I passed over the baton and I was following Nepanil down screaming, thinking, oh, we're going to win this. And then out of nowhere, he started hobbling. And yeah, it's just sad to see. But like Adam said, this season is about the fans for him. It's not going to affect his legacy and he's the greatest of all time. Thank you. Thank you.